When you step inside 602 Pine Street in Tamaqua, it's like taking a time machine back to the 1950s. Check out the telephone and the TV, no high definition here. But this trip back in time is intentional. It's all part of a project called Art of Escape Tamaqua, a project made possible by a partnership with the Raiders Step Up Club at Tamaqua Area High School and the Tamaqua Community Arts Center. This project is just one of many of the wonderful things happening here in town. There are a lot of people working very hard to build up the positive aspects, to revitalize, to push forward, and to start changing our image, what we're known for, and just everything about this town. And this is just one piece of a very large, complex puzzle. I was approached on behalf of the Tamaqua Community Partnership uh, because I had experience in going into escape rooms uh, just to provide some insight. And then I just kind of got involved. Our stage crew decided we would kind of help out building one of the rooms. And then we got the uh, gifted program involved in trying to come up with some clues. This new community partnership has resulted in not one, but two escape rooms that you can now experience for a limited time. The home was donated to the community, and a group of middle school students created the design for the 1950s themed escape room. Then students from the high school's drama club stage crew did the actual construction. So tell us what this was like. Was it like building a set for a play or was it a lot different? Oh, it was so much easier. <laughs> it was a, a really small room. The set, we have to have Mrs. Drum's approval, and we go through so many different things before. We're like, okay, this is the perfect set. But this one, we had everything planned out before we even started. I've already gone through four escape rooms. I've gotten out of every one, not to brag, but I've never built one, and this was a very fun experience. Tell us a little bit about why this was so such an important project. I don't know. It just helped out the community a lot. It, it's going to help get kids off the street, get, in, get them into something productive. I think it'll really help out. On this day, the four students who helped with the design of the 50s escape room came back to experience the finished product. They've been very excited from what I see. We had an opportunity to take them to Hershey on a field trip and go through escape rooms with them. We brought them to this house long before any construction started so they get a feel for it and then they develop clues as part of a project for school. We were there as the students prepared to enter the room they helped to create. You will be entering this escape room in darkness with only a small light to guide your way. Working as a team, it will be up to you to shed light on this journey and on Tamaqua's heritage as you enter into a typical Tamaqua home of 1959. As the clock ticked, Leona Rega, coordinator of the Tamaqua Community Arts Center, waited patiently. I'm just overjoyed. Um, I'm very excited for the partnership that we've developed with the school, with the students, with the community members. It's just really amazing. While our cameras were allowed to give you a sneak peek, we can't show too much because it would give away the clues and ruin the experience. But we can show what was happening outside of the escape room. So what we're doing here is we're looking at the uh, camera and we're watching the students inside to see if they're able to get the clues, to see if they get stuck or if they request a hint, or if anything would go wrong or they try to pry up something they shouldn't, we can give them a warning, hey, don't touch that. Meanwhile, there is that second escape room located upstairs with a completely different theme. I am now standing inside the second escape room and it literally looks like we are standing in a mine. Caitlin Miller is the advisor of Raider Step Up and Caitlin, that was the theme you were going for. You want this to look like a mine. Absolutely. Uh, the idea behind this room was to tap into our history. We have a very rich history in this area for our coal mining pass and as we make plans across the board to move into the future, we don't want to let go of where we've been as a community, and we don't want our students to forget about that heritage, and many of them might not even know about it. So this is an opportunity for them to learn. Meanwhile, back downstairs. Five, four, three, two, one. While they were just short of making their way out, the students definitely enjoyed the adventure. So now, you just completed the escape room. What was it like? It was it was a difficult one. I can tell you the one in Hershey wasn't as hard as this one, that's for sure. Yeah, you were pretty close to almost coming out. Yeah, we had one or two more uh, problems to solve and we would have been out of there. Um, there was like a 50% chance we were going to come out. I thought we would probably, because we probably would because we sort of helped um, come up with the ideas, but it was difficult then in the end. You're going to do it again? 
Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Was that a fun process trying to come up with ideas to put into this room? Yeah, it really makes you think about Tamaqua's history and just how it came from what it was to how it is today. For Nelson, this experience was very special. This house was Nelson's grandmother's house, and when we were building it, we found this uh, artifact for you, and this has all the measurements uh, from when they were growing up, and Nelson, there he is right there, September of 2000, I want to say 2008. Do you remember this house when your grandmother lived here? Oh yeah, I remember the house. Um, I used to stay here a lot uh, until I, you know, uh, three or four years ago. She moved out near where I live. So what was it like coming back here again? It's kind of cool to see what we donated turned into something for the community. Both escape rooms are now open to the public for a limited time. The Art of Escape Tamaqua will be open weekends in February at a cost that is family friendly just five dollars per person. I hope that the community really appreciates the fact that we have some really great students um, within our school district. They they are looking for things to do here. They don't necessarily want to leave. They want to engage and they're looking for positive adult role models to come alongside them and help to be that influence. For tickets to Art of Escape Tamaqua, Call the Tamaqua Community Arts Center at 570-668-1192 or check out Art of Escape Tamaqua on Facebook. I hope the community comes out and supports it. I hope we get a, I hope we uh, book every possible uh, running of the escape room that we can and I just hope they run with it and do more things like this for the kids. Reporting from Tamaqua for SSP TV News, I'm Lisa Sugart.